During this initiative, you will be seeing a high volume of police activity in many of your neighborhoods. The city wanting to slow down crime. This comes after a series of shootings earlier this week. They'll get help again to make sure people know they're around. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. I'm Lindsay Watson. You'll see those extra air patrols in the air and on the ground. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us the goals of this year's impact initiative is to reduce crime. It's our top story tonight at 6. It was a very busy summer for law enforcement in 2022. Well, just south of uh, Avondale, two of them on foot. For the second year in a row, Youngstown officers will be teaming with state and federal agencies for what police are calling their impact initiative. And when we have the support of the FBI, of OSP, of the Sheriff's Office, and we're out there working in concert with each other, it's just, it's, it's a wonderful thing to see. The effort will once again use saturation traffic patrols to focus on high crime areas in the city that have been plagued with drug activity and gun violence. State troopers say their involvement alone last year resulted in nearly 450 traffic stops last year in the city, almost 40 felony arrests, and taking nearly a dozen weapons off the street. Starting this month, the state will assign troopers from all around the region to cover the city, both on the ground and from the air. Our aviation section will be active, assisting ground units uh, with observing and identifying uh, active crimes. While authorities believe programs like this have helped reduce crime in the city by taking suspects and their guns and drugs off the streets, they stress police alone cannot solve the problems. Everyone who is invested in a child's life, to learn to teach them and mentor them in conflict resolution very early on. The initiative is expected to run through this fall. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.